not a morning person. Okay, so I just worked the midnight to um, 9 a.m. shift at my work. It's Black Friday. It's the joys of retail. And I've had uh, I've had about I'd say three hours of sleep. I went to bed and I couldn't go to sleep. And then I fell asleep and it lasted three hours. Most of the people that I run into at my work come in, they think they've seen the world. And they really haven't. We know they haven't. They might as well have just stayed here. They've seen different versions of the Marriott. Yeah, they've seen different versions of America. So why do you think people travel? I think the question is more like, why do people go traveling like this, like what we're going to do? That's the real question, because it's nothing to just get in your plane, get there, go straight from the uh, airport to the hotel, stay in your hotel, go to your business meeting, and then go back. I never have seen anything. Avalon, what do you think about going on trips? Fun. Yeah, why do you think people go on trips? I don't know. Because they can exercise. <laughs> what about a big trip? Like, why do you think people might go to another country? Because they have fun. Yeah. What do you think would be fun in another country? Why do you need a present? <laughs> What do you think about people going traveling, Larry? What do I think about people I want to ride my way uh -huh. to scooter. I want to ride my way to scooter. I'm oh, hot. Really so about you don't think about it at all? <coughs> Not really. Do you prefer to fly or go cross country? Fly or cross country. Would you rather fly or take a train? Okay. Close to the bolt. I'd rather take a train. Always take a train. What does your uh, mother think about it? You need to go record that now. Take a couple of tapes. In order to be able to get everything. The reason why you do it. What would you do if you went to India? What would I do? Uh, pray a lot. Pray a lot and probably start uh, telling people about Jesus. That's pretty much it. Would you go see things? Oh, I'd definitely go to the mountains and stuff. Go to the mountains and uh, go visit the, uh, what's it called? Shaolin guys. Oh, the, yeah, well, Shaolin. I had a, uh, a teacher once explain to this. very uh, Oh, he goes, oh, no, no, he's saying that apparently Hinduism and Buddhism comes from the same line. And his way to explain it was that Buddhists are just like um, Protestant Hindus. <laughs> There's a shorter way to get there. I'm like, okay. Why are you going to India? Because I'm following my vagina. <laughs> I'm sorry, your vagina. Because I am, um, I've worked at the same job for seven years. Um, I just turned 30 and I, um, need a break. I need a big break. I already had my lovely existential crisis as far as, uh, well, the uh, nice one that comes with being 30. And it's funny because you, you know it's coming and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. So still. if you're a woman, your ovaries go crazy. And if you're a man, you um, wonder about God. No, that's, that's, that's one of the things. It came down to whether or not I was going to stay with you. No, I knew you wouldn't be able to put up with me staying at home. What happens if you hate it? I don't know. 
my biggest worry about hating it is that it'll really screw things up with you and that's kind of I kind of like committed myself to it because I proposed to you. <laughs> One of our experiences is why people go but basically live, you know, in the middle of the shit with everyone. You know, in the middle of actual normal, relatively speaking, as much as you can say it, everyday life. All this crap is to get packed in a half an hour. See, no, now in this light it looks cool. That's the problem. I'm getting a cool shot, but really the Mohawk doesn't look this cool. Come on, that looks cool. I'm going to take my car load over to your parents' house, unload all the stuff that we're going to be taking on the trip with us. And you stay here, finish this when you're done packing up the room. It's my last day yeah. at work, at work, at work. Never go 